Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ IS English channel. My name is Shubham Sagar and today we'll talk about an island which will be completely submerged soon. It has already lost two thirds of its land in the last 10 years according to some sources. And this whole article published in The Hindu on 9 July 2025, I'll show you the article at the end and it published on which particular page I will tell, tell you at the end as well. Generally, when we talk about submergence of islands, when we, you know, think of those things, we generally think about, you know, islands between North and South America, parts of Lat Latin America, you know, or islands above Australia, around Australia, adjacent to Australia, Fiji, Suriname, and those kind of islands or islands adjacent to the Southern African portion, Mauritius and others. But this island is located in Western Africa. It's a part of a country called as Sierra Leone. And you know, Sierra Leone was, UPSC has already asked questions on Sierra Leone or Sierra Leone, whatever way you want to call it, phonetics. UPSC has already asked a question on Sierra Leone earlier when they talked about Ebola virus, which were the countries impacted by it. One of the poorest countries in the world, Sierra Leone, on the coast of Atlantic Ocean, you know, Atlantic Ocean coast, they're located and they have an island. They have a multitude of islands. They have like one group of islands, Turtle Islands. In that Turtle Islands, there is another island which is known as Nyangi Island. And based on the like the speed at which it is losing its land because of rising sea level, it is said that it will be completely submerged very, very soon. We have to talk about so many different things from exam perspective also. If you go back, there are certain things which are important from UPSC and other exam also. Like from other exam perspective as well. Syria, Leon, you can see which countries are bordering it. Guinea and Liberia, where it is located, Western Africa. And we are talking about one island of that particular country, one of the poorest country in the world. Now let's see the news, what the news is all about. And then I will show you the article. The article focuses on Nyangi, an island in the Turtle Islands of Southern Sierra Leone, which is severely affected by rising sea level. There is a very famous personality, powerful personality, whom many people called as Orange Man or Tariff Man, Donald Trump, sir, President of US. He, at one time, I don't know what his stance currently is, but at one time he did not believe in climate change. And he said that this is all sequential. There was once an ice age, then comes the warm age, then will, there will be again an ice age. So we are a part of something called as this warm age. There is nothing global warming, this and that. So again, Nyangi and this rising sea level and how it has lost two thirds of its land in the last 10 years can be an example which can be given to our so-called orange man tariff man with due respect to Donald Trump sir whom I think all of you love so much so that's just a sarcasm uh, maybe you do so again personal account there are some people there who are talking about how their fields have been eroded they have made their houses again sea comes take away their land and that's is continuously happening which is one of the bigger proof of the climate change rising sea level rising Atlantic water do remember Sierra Leone is located on like which particular ocean, I just into which particular ocean. And you can see all these are facts. So Nyangi, which who have contributed, the residents of Nyangi who have contributed almost nothing to global warming are among Sierra Leone's first climate refugees. And when you will go deeper into this article, the author is saying that not only this turtle island Nyangi, almost there are like millions of people who are on, at the coast of Sierra Leone who will be severely impacted by this rising sea level or the ocean level of Atlantic Ocean. And world has to look into it. But but again, nobody cares. And you will see what is the international stance on this Sierra Leone crisis. Nobody cares. Why? Because Sierra Leone is poor. You know, if you're poor, nobody will care for you. If you're rich, people will come from all strata, all sides, all directions, and they will take care of you in more ways than one. That's true for, you know, normal life as well. And when you talk about humans as well, that's how we also react, sadly. Okay, sir. In less than 10 years, the island has lost two thirds of its land. We have to do something. Otherwise, you know, Nyangi and then Turtle Islands and then major portion of Sierra Leone will be gone. And again, we don't have to remember the length and breadth of this. This is just to cite how much loss has already happened in Nyangi Island in Sierra Leone. Population has decreased from 1000 to fewer than 300. And you can see living condition is very, very bad, pathetic and people are forced to live in such inhospitable condition. Official response, international organization have not provided significant aid because it doesn't concern directly with US, you know. It's a poor country, one of the poorest country in the world. Who cares? That is the attitude. Only recommending a relocation. Very easy. Easier said than done. June, a wider threat, a June 2024 study warns that over 2 million coastal residents, it's not about Turtle Island, it's not about Nyangi, it's about Sierra Leone and the coastal areas of Sierra Leone. 
you know, 1 million is 10 lakh. More than 20 lakh people will be or are at risk from rising sea. Something has to be done. We have all these organizations, UNF, Triple C, this and that. What are they doing? Will they do something when Sierra Leone and the coastal lands are gone? 20 million people have lost their habitat. So again, people are saying that, you know, they feel abandoned by the authorities. Neither national or international authorities are doing anything about the so-called crisis in Sierra Leone. Outlook, again, you can see little hope for Nyangi's future, fearing the island may be, dis may be disappearing entirely. And that is what we are saying. In the last 10 years, they have lost two-thirds of their land. God knows very soon, even maybe less than 10 years, in the next 10 years, they will be gone, all gone. If you don't do anything about it, do you think UNFCCC, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change or any other UN organization, so to say, they keep on making one entity or the other every five months, three months and increase UPSC students' workload. But are they actually doing anything on the ground or this is just on paper? Okay, let's solve some questions now. This is the article we are talking about. Page number 20, Science 2. And today is what? Today is 9th July 2025 when this article published in the Hindu. You can also meet me every day at 9 a.m. for live Hindu analysis if you are a serious UPSC aspirant or preparing for any other exam as well. But mostly for serious, like if you're preparing for UPSC. So this is the news. Sierra Leone Islanders despair as rising ocean threatened survival. Nyangi Island, Turtle Island, Sierra Leone, West Africa. Let's solve some questions. MCQ 1 in front of you. You know, Sierra Leone says border with which of the following countries? We have discussed this. I have shown you the map. If you know the answer, post it in the comment section. MCQ 2. Nyangi Island recently in the news for climate-induced displacement is located in. We have discussed this. Ideally, you should get this MCQ correct as well. Again, if you know it, post it in the comment section. If you feel like, you know, you gain something, gain some knowledge from me, like this video, share it, subscribe it. You can, and as I've told you earlier, you can join me every day at 9 a.m. on this channel for the Hindu analysis and that will again help you because we discuss more articles and I will share this particular PDF along with the answer of these two MCQs in my Telegram channel, Fun Study with you because study should be fun. So you can join this Telegram family of mine. Also, sir, if you're preparing seriously for 2026, 27 or 2028, you know, UPSC 2028, you can join Study IQ's, you know, different batches. I will tell you the procedure. Many people are like, oh my God, who is preparing for 28 right now? People who are serious about their life, who are serious about their career, they are. Because, you know, UPSC is a long haul. It requires a lot of preparation, a lot of planning, a lot of, you know, note making, proper structure, so many things. Answer writing means MCQ practice. It requires time. It, it, it's not hap it hap does not happen in a day. So if you're preparing for 26, 27 or 28, you can join our batches. I will show you how. Meanwhile, this particular slide is for 2026 July batch. It has started on 7th. I'm making this video on 9th July. And the admission for this particular batch, the classes will run from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. The admissions are closing on 15th July 2025. You can use my code SHS Live to get maximum discount. There are different variants of this particular July batch, you know. And the prices vary according to, there are three variants based on what is your requirement. Whether you're looking just for, you know, like the material or the life classes, or you're looking for something more than that. Based on that, you can join any of the three variants. Let me show you how you can join it. You will go to studyiq.com. If you have seen my earlier videos, you already know the process. If you haven't, this is the process. You will go to studyiq.com. You can also go to Google Play Store, download Study IQ app for free. And from there also, you can join it. So studyiq.com, go downwards, UPSC, all languages go to English. And in English, this is for, see here, this is for 2026. Same process you have to follow for, you will go here, 2027, 2028. Let's come to 2026, because this is the most immediate one. Next year it is happening and people are already in the like 2026 mode, same thing. So here, 2026, this is the course I'm talking about. You are seeing 3699. It will reduce, it will come. There are three variants. One, last of the variant of this particular batch is cost, costing as low as 10999, if I'm not wrong. So before you buy this course, what you have to do is you have to go here, see the features, 10,000 means 1,000 plus hours of live and recorded classes, mentorship, which I feel sometimes we do need because UPSC preparation comes with its own share of ups and downs, structured study material. And then you have, again, it doesn't matter whether you join our course or any other course. Like, you know, I keep on telling trust, 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 trust is the foundation of any relationship. So you have to trust our source. You don't have to run for any other material here and there, NCRT, this and that. Everything is included in the structured study material, 75 plus prelims test, 12 mains test. Prelims and Mains, Residential Program, MRP is going on currently for people who have cleared 2025. When you will clear UPSC pre-2026, you will be part of MRP. 
means residential program, interview guidance program, because this is P2I, prelims to interview. We have with us retired IAS Anil Swaroop, sir, who will be guiding you in this interview guidance program. Scholarship and award. If you clear UPSC pre-2026, you can have a look at this particular point. There will be a full fee refund for you. 11,000 cash prize if you're a monthly top performer. This full fee refund is actually a very big thing. Many people say it, many institutions say it. We at Study IQ have explicitly written it. Again, because we believe that, you know, when you clear it, you're making us proud, you're making yourself proud, and after that, you'll be a part of MRT, means residential program. Cool, sir. So again, how you have to join it, what is the process, you know the features now, then you will go to buy now, and don't worry about the prices. As I've told you, there are three variants, we have seen the features. So again, diamond includes everything which we have discussed. Whatever things were there, everything is included. If you have any queries related to any of these three variants, you can call in this number 9240-231070 for any queries. Then in platinum, some of the features will reduce. That's why I'm telling you, see the features and see what is your requirement. If you are that guy who only need live classes and lecture notes, you can also avail gold. All these courses, the prices will reduce by 7,000. If you apply my code, if you apply these codes only for Today India, the prices will reduce by 6,000. But if you apply SHS Live, my code, that, then the prices will reduce by 7,000. You can see here. And this is for platinum. It was earlier 31999, reduced to 24999. Diamond will reduce to 29999. If you apply on gold, it will reduce to 10999. So again, the, see what is your requirement. If you need only live classes, lecture notes, and you want to watch these live classes any number of times for next one year, six months, you can take gold. If you want mentorship, main residential program, interview guidance program, you can take platinum. If you want everything, you want mentorship, main residential program, scholarship, everything, then you can go for gold, means diamond. You can apply my code in any of these three courses and the prices will reduce to the like by maximum. So that's how you will join this course. Coming back to the topic, what is your view on this whole Sierra Leone crisis, Turtle Island? What is your view on this? If you have any specific view, if you know something more about it, if you know the answer of these two MCQs, which I just asked, share it in the comment section. I will see you people soon. Take care, be blessed, tata, bye-bye.